Once upon a time, there was a small tender engine named Edward, who hadn't been out of the sheds ever since the completion of the North Western Railway. The driver won't choose you again. He wants stronger engines like me and Gordon. Soon, the driver and fireman came to work and looked at poor Edward. Why are you so sad, Edward? Would you like to come out today? Oh, yes, please. The fireman lit the fire. Look at me now! Look at me now! The others were crossed and left behind. Where were Ted to collect some coaches? Don't bump and bang us like the other engines do. Edward came gently up to the coaches and was coupled up. Thank you, Edward. We are glad you are taking us out. Edward is at the station. Peep peep! Get in quickly, please. So the people got in and they waited happily for the guard to blow his whistle and wave his green flag. But he never did. Peep, 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 peep! Where is the guard? Soon the guard arrived and the train was able to start on time. Edward had a splendid time. The driver promised to take him out again, and that night he told the others. Well, what do you think of that? The driver is going to take me out again tomorrow. But he didn't hear what they thought, for he was so tired and happy that he fell asleep at once. The next morning, one of the engines in Edward's shed, named Gordon, was boasting. You watch me, little Edward, as I rush through with the express. Goodbye, little Edward. Watch out for me this afternoon. Edward went off to do some shunting. He liked shunting, but it was fun playing with trucks. He would come up quietly and he would come up and he would not expect anything. Then he would stop and the silly trucks would bump into each other. Whatever is happening? Edward played until there were no more trucks, and then he backed into a siding to rest. Presently, he heard a whistle. Gordon was very cross indeed. Instead of nice, shining, clean coaches, he was pulling a train of very dirty trucks. A goods train! All the indignity! Edward laughed and went off to find some more trucks. Soon a station porter came over to Edward and called to his driver. Gordon is stuck on the hill. Can you go and help him? They found Gordon halfway up the hill and looking very cross. His driver and fireman were talking to him severely. You're not trying, Gordon. I can't do it. The noisy trucks hold an engine back. Now, if they were coaches, clean, sensible things, then that's a different song and dance. Soon, Edward's driver came up. We've come to push. No use at all. You wait and see. They brought the train back to the bottom of the hill. I'm ready! No good! Two engines pulled and pushed. Edward snorted behind the brake man and swung the steam shooting high into the air. I've done it! He completely forgot about Edward and raced through two stations before his driver managed to make him stop. Edward was out of breath and out of puff, but was glad to have helped. At the next station, the county school was pleased with him. His fireman gave him a cool drink and the driver said, I'll get out my paint tomorrow and give you a beautiful coat blue with red stripes. Then you'll be the smartest engine in the shed.